All right, Coach. Well, obviously it's tough when, when you lose on a last shot like that, but can you walk me through the game starting from when you were 27-13 down and, and what you think made the difference to get you guys back into the game? Yeah, we, we battled and we fought. We battled and we fought. We battled and we fought. And so, you know, the, the game of basketball is going to have some ebbs and flows, right? And so in a game like that, you got a good Georgia Tech team. Well, guess what? you got a good Boston College team. You know, I, I, just told, I just told the team in there, look, we, we don't have to wait for next year. We talk about youth. We talk about, hey, we're still growing, right? Yeah, this was a winnable game on our home court against a quality opponent. And we were one play away. We were one play away. So you go back to, hey, don't spot them the lead. But you know what? We came back, and we led by at least four, right? We were up four points, and we, the story of the game is the second half. We turned the ball over, and we gave up O boards. In the first half, we took care of the basketball, and we kept them off the glass. So Georgia Tech battled as well. And, you know, Coach, uh, coach Joseph is, is a great coach. Um, they've got a couple big-time players. Kayla Davis made some amazing shots. Uh, Aaliyah Whiteside made some amazing shots. Their post players, uh, Rodgers and O'Neal, came up with some huge, huge offensive rebounds when they needed it and some big plays. Um, you know, our, our centers got in a little bit of foul trouble early. Uh, I thought we, were, might, we might have softened us up a little bit on the inside, and they took advantage of it. But, look, that was a high-level basketball game with two really, really good teams. And I'm just, I'm sick for our players that we weren't able to come out on top. We were one play away, one rebound, uh, a rebound on a, on a, on a free throw, uh, one of those rebounds down the stretch, one more rebound, and that game is ours. We, we talk about the youth a lot, but in the second half today, it was two of your more experienced players and Nicole Boudreaux and Kelly Hughes really stepping up offensively. Yeah, look, and Kelly Hughes is a sophomore. Let's not forget, yep. we think, yep. you know, we, she acts like a senior. She plays like a senior. But, um, you know, I kind of had to refocus Kelly at one point. She, uh, uh, she wimped out on a charge earlier, which is someone like, those are identity plays for us. And I took her out of the game. We had to have a little chat on the sideline. And, and I challenged her to go back in with an attitude, with some toughness. And just don't just be a shooter, Kelly. Go be a player. And, you know, what's great about coaching players like that is that's all it took. She looked me right in the eye. Coach, I got you. I know exactly what you're talking about. And she went in there and she made the basketball plays, the toughness, the hustle plays. Oh, and she can make 25 footers and she can shoot, uh, she can hit free throws. And so, uh, really proud of her. And you mentioned Nicole Boudreaux, who's just, uh, you know, that kid is just a clutch winner, fighter. Um, you know, again, she's waiting for battles like that and loves it. And uh, believe me, it's going to be a long night for kids like that, you know, just having a stomach loss, uh, you know, where again, you're one play. One play, um, so you know they, that's that's where we are right now. That's where we are, and, and again, I'm proud proud of our players. And I'll tell you the best thing you'll like this from the locker room is I came in and I, t I I tell the team I tell the team you know hey this these are the reasons that we play well these are the reasons that we don't play well. And I said I'm proud of you guys. I'm proud of the fight. I thought we made some big steps tonight. And we had several players stand up and say no, this isn't good enough. Not good enough. And you know what? It's great the coach is proud of us, but we need to do better. We're one play away. We need to grab a rebound. And that's when, that's when you know you got them. That's when you know that they're, they're starting to own this and they really want it. So I, I just I can't wait to get back to practice. I, I believe deeply in this team, and I can't wait to go fight Notre Dame. I know you've said all year long that you, you love coaching this team, probably because of reasons like that. But when you see that, how, how much uh, encouragement does that give you moving forward? Because as you've said all along, you know every night you're in for a battle in, in this yeah. conference. Yeah, I tell them all the time. I, I, I believe in them, uh, and, I, and I'm not going to accept anything less than their best. And, uh, you know, I, like I said, we need to be one play better tonight. And, and I love that they are now adopting that attitude that they're not going to accept anything other than their best. And they know that we could – we played all right, but – that's not you know that's not good enough for BC and so that attitude that culture uh, like I said it's 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 starting to solidify and the young ones are starting to understand what ACC play is like um, and look Notre Dame lost tonight you know what everybody's human everybody can get beat North Carolina lost tonight uh, so you know what hey we're gonna go battle we're gonna go fight every single game and uh, we're we're gonna come out on top of some of these you just watch all right thank you.